Do you ever watch a top player and think, how do they never miss their text when recovering even an online play with extra input lag? You may believe that they just have godly reaction time or just an extra sense about the game, but this isn't the case at all. Usually it's just a simple option select, something you can incorporate into your play immediately. I'm assuming you know what a tech is, and if not, you can watch my video on it here, but as for the option select, this is a pretty common term in fighting games. It's basically doing a series of inputs that perform different actions depending on what your opponent does, generally having the outcomes being either neutral or positive for you. Think of it like bringing an umbrella with you when you go outside, when you're not sure if it's going to rain. If it doesn't rain, then that's fine, it doesn't really hurt you, but if it does rain, you have your umbrella. Some option selects are a little more complicated, but we will go into that later. Now in this case, we're taking advantage of the fact that during most characters' up specials, you have a big window in which you cannot perform an action. For example, when Fox uses his up special, he can't cancel it no matter what buttons are pressed. You can just mash buttons all you want, and nothing will happen. Now this won't really apply too much to some characters, but most characters have something like this when they recover. What we are going to do is while we are riding the stage, press R as if we were going to tech. If you don't get hit, this is what happens. Absolutely nothing. This is the equivalent of it not raining outside, but having an umbrella just in case. You were prepared to tech, but didn't need to. But what happens if we do the same exact inputs, but our opponent had done something like a runoff back air? We tech, and we're still alive as long as we timed it approximately right. It's that simple. You don't need to react to getting hit, you can do this with your eyes closed. The window for teching, while not huge, is decently large, and as long as you're not pressing shield all the way down here, or all the way up here, you're probably going to be okay. But don't spam shield, because the game will sort of lock you out from being able to tech if you're too early. Now should you always be doing this? Not necessarily. You can only tech when you get hit hard enough to get sent into tumble. So you'll usually have a little percent on you before that happens. So if you do this when you're at 15 or 20 percent, you might just air dodge and be put in a very bad spot. Also, if you're at high percent and get hit with a weak move, the same thing will happen since it wasn't strong enough to send you into tumble. So if you're wondering why a top player seems to randomly air dodge when they're off stage, this is most likely what happened. They were trying to option select their tech, but unfortunately they buffered an air dodge instead. So what should you do when you're not sure if you're going to get sent into tumble? Well, you have a couple options. First, what you can do is hold up while you perform the tech. If you get sent into tumble, you will wall jump tech and might be able to reverse edge guard your opponent. But if you get hit and not get sent into tumble, you'll buffer an air dodge up. After air dodging up, you'll often grab the ledge depending on how far your air dodge goes. This can be great for those lower mid percents where you're not sure if you're going to get sent into tumble or not. But what if you think your air dodge will be too short or really just want to avoid air dodging back to the stage in general? Well, this is where you can incorporate a slightly more complicated option select. Now, if you press two options at the same time, the game has to decide which one to do first. Fortunately, when you buffer both an air dodge and a special, the game prioritizes the special. So what does that mean for you? Well, if you press up special and air dodge at the same time, right around here, and you get hit, if you don't get sent into tumble, the game will up special for you instead of air dodging. But if you do get sent into tumble, the game mechanics don't allow you to use your up special, so the engine looks at what else you pressed. And since you press shield, it will generally tech for you. It's a really good option that I don't see talked about enough. Now obviously if you're playing a character like Jigglypuff where you don't want to up special in that situation, don't do this. Now are these methods foolproof? No. Very good players can take advantage of this if they suspect that you're going to try and option select your tech. They can hit you with a multi-hit move that will throw off your timing. For example, I love doing this with Kirby's forward air. If my opponent option selects their tech right here, they will have pressed it too early and the game will lock them out from being able to tech. But when I'm playing a worse player who I don't think will option select the tech, I will just go for a quick back air. 
I generally don't want to forward air worse players since it gives them more time to react to the tech since they'll generally be teching on reaction if at all. So this isn't a cheat code, there is counterplay, and half of this is just helping you to mentally remember to tech, and eventually when you do that enough you'll get better at recovering in general, and it'll sort of just become second nature. But if you're always missing your techs, definitely try this out and see if you improve. And that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I miss making these shorter videos, they're pretty fun. Thank you to my supporters on Patreon, thank you for watching, peace. Thank <laughs> you.